Hello guys, I am back. We are still talking about what is going on in Nigerian politics. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on your location at this time of the day. All right, guys, the real politics have started. You have seen it on your screen. Though I will allow you to hear from Peter Obi himself, but let me quickly give you my own opinion. Like I keep saying it, politics is a game of interest and a game of numbers, okay? You don't force people to support your candidate neither will people support or um, force you to support their own candidate okay so i am always saying it and i will keep saying that we already know these five um, aggrieved pdp governor okay because uh pdp let me not say pdp because it's not about pdp now atiko abubaka is not meeting the demand of these five aggrieved pdp governors of course these guys are not ready to leave the party. Wike has been holding this party. Other members have been holding this party while others have been defecting. Now, you don't expect these men to defect from PDP. They can never run away from PDP. But they know who they are going to support. All right? So, Peter will be according to him. He has made a deal. When we are talking about deal, a deal, you really do not know the real deal, okay? But uh, you will hear Peter Obi himself. So, we get another five governors. Uh, yesterday, Peter Obi met with um, Udomi Manuel, okay? Now, let us not pretend, forget other governors supporting Atiku Abubakar. Of course, they are doing it for the party. But you never can tell how many of them are agreed. I mean, you cannot hand over a power to another Fulani man after eight years. What happened to the South? Yes, everybody had an agreement uh, that power should rotate back to the South. Now, why betray the trust of power rotation, even, even in PDP um, constitution? Now, I think back 2010, he was the same person advocating for power rotation. Now, in 2022, the same person spent millions of Naira to buy a nomination form, spend a lot of money for delegate. Now, how do you want, forget about the um, Udomi Manduel, you know, the campaign in Uyo, all those. You never can tell. This is politics. So you don't expect people that had been holding these politics died just to run away from you. Remember, he defected from APC. He was in PDP, he contested in PDP in 2019. Remember. And don't also forget that Peter Obi is a friend to them. Peter Obi was in PDP. He, he was a running mate to Atiku Abubakar in 2019. So Peter Obi, as far as that they are concerned, is still their friend. So you don't expect these men from the South to be happy with you, even if they are supporting you. Even the same men that says without Wike, um, there is no effect, Wike or no Wike, it doesn't have any impact on PDP uh, campaign and whatsoever. No, they understand their party. They, uh, they can, those ones cannot run away from the party for you. That is just the truth. So let me allow you to listen to um, Peter B himself. Though they will not tell you the deal they are striking, though um, these PDP governors will not defect, they will not run away from the party for any other person, somebody that just defected uh, from APC to PDP, and you want them to run away from you, no. So now the real politics have started. However, let me know what you guys think. Listen to Peter B. Um, if you have anything to contribute, put it down in the comment section below. See you guys in another deal I have with them is that they are passionate for a better Nigeria. That's the only deal. Everybody wants Nigeria to survive now. Everybody, you know, because at the end of the day, if it collapses, anarchy consumes everybody. You wouldn't see about party. If they throw a bomb now here, you wouldn't know who is governor, who is the get man. So it is better we save Nigeria because if it happens, nobody knows who will be affected. 
So we want Nigeria to be saved. We want a better Nigeria. Everybody wants to be with his children. Anarchy. Look at him caring about those people in IDP gap. They're not his children. They're not anything. He could have, he can just walk away and say, they're not his business. But he's caring about them. And that is what we want. We want the Nigeria that will show the same patriotism by caring about people and everything. Look at the flooding that has happened all over Nigeria. As far as I'm concerned, the government of Nigeria have not responded adequately. 